the other day that I got, I have to get a little rice cooker. Yep. And here it is. I'm 100% getting it. And it's only $24.95. $24.95. It's a weekly deal drop. We drop it on Monday. This yep. price goes away this Sunday. So you only have today, tomorrow, and till midnight on Sunday for the price. I've got two colors. I can see that all the colors have sold out. Red <laughs> is the one I wanted, so I'm in luck. I'll save you one. This one's yours. Red, that red and teal. Here's the thing about rice. Yeah. Uh, it, to me, I know it's like one cup of rice yep. to uh, two parts water, is, is it? But how long do you cook it? I, I, I end up staring at it. Yes, and you're worrying, <laughs> is there going to be leftover right? liquid? Do I let it steam? Do, do I, I add leave more it? liquid? Is it not done? Did I take and, it off too soon? You know, I've met a lot of great home cooks who actually have a hard time with rice for whatever <laughs> reason. Yes. So I think you're one, Helen. And this kind of removes the guesswork from cooking rice or grains or oatmeal or quinoa or brown rice. It does all do of that. Do you rinse your rice? I do rinse my rice, and here's the difference. If you don't rinse your rice, you'll get a sticky rice, which is great. For, if you want sticky if rice. If you want sticky rice. <laughs> if you want fluffy rice, rinse your rice. Okay. So aside from that, if you rinse or don't rinse, up to you. But here's what's really cool. It comes with the measuring cup for you. So fill it up, whether you rinse it or not, up to you. And then you add it to this non-stick pot that we kind of provide with it. Is that one cup? This is this is not exactly one cup. This is about three-quarter cup. Okay. But we always give you the instructions and the recipes. So okay. when we say one cup, we mean one of the cups provided. Okay. Okay. And then... You see a measure on the inside, guys. Do you see this? There's a line that says 1.5 cup. I want you to fill up the water up to 1.5 cup. That's all you got to do, so including the rice. So it's one and a half of the cups that included. You exactly. fill it up with water, and then right you're Right up done. to there. And that's all you got to do. Now, the last thing, you put the lid on, lock it. By the way, this is safe to the touch, even when it heats up. And then you go to cook. And that's all you do. And that's all you do. And you leave it. When it's done, it will pop to warm and it will just stay there and it will stay warm. So another thing this is great for is timing your meal. So yeah. a lot of times people will make the rice, even if you make it perfectly, it'll be cold by the time you're done your chicken or your salmon or your beef. Put the rice in, put it on to cook, let it do its work. Once the water evaporates away, right. it will just stay warm. So about how much time does it take? <laughs> but 10, 15 minutes 10, and you're it's done. It's about there, yeah. But so, you don't have to babysit it. You don't have nope. to check on it. Will it light up or something when it's done? It will automatically go to warm when all that liquid is gone. Oh, the, so it'll pop up it'll from pop cooked up and to, go to warm. warm. Exactly. So that's how you know it's done. You so can you even don't... like actually hear it pop up. Yeah, and it'll go to warm. Okay. And it'll stay there on warm. Oh, so you okay. can do this an hour before dinner, an hour yeah. and a half before dinner, let it stay warm, and your let rice it be, is perfectly be perfect, cooked, and it will be perfectly fluffy. Check this out. Nothing stuck. Look at this. And by the way, when we say one and a half cup capacity, that's of raw rice. So cooked rice. <laughs> yes, that's is I saw. Three it. cups. It's three cups of rice. And look. And that's fluffy. enough for me, like meal prep for lunches for the week. Is 100%. one doing that one time. And Look I do this. cook my all my meals for my lunches. I bring them each day and I, I love rice and I, and you're right. That's a great thing to do yeah. batch cooking wise in terms yeah. of, you know, do it a few days in advance even and have it ready to can go I use, nonstick. Can I use, um, like I usually use chicken broth. Can I do Absolutely. that in here as opposed to water? You can use any <laughs> liquid really. And I encourage you to do that because this is just straight up water and rice. But absolutely, chicken stock, veg stock, beef stock. Put a splash of wine in there. Okay. Put some spices in here. With my rice, I often you put turmeric and paprika to give it a bright yellow color. Spices, garlic powder, onion powder. So now you've got a spiced rice. It does come with a bunch of recipes as well. So this was just showing you Rice 101, how easy it is. Put it in, put it to the right measurement of water, and turn it on. And then it will go from cook to warm, you're good to go, and it will stay warm, which is great. But then you can get creative and do Spanish rice or different flavors can of rice. Can you do rices. other things besides rice? Absolutely. So here's the thing. Check this out. I love the warm button because you can just bring up a, a bowl of chili or soup and keep it warm, right? A way more delicate way to bring something up than, say, zapping it in the microwave, right? So you could just use it to heat up your chili and leave it hot. Mm -hmm. I love that warm function because you can leave it on for an hour, two hours, and it just kind of keeps it warm. Imagine game day, if you put a queso sauce in here or that chili table side, and you leave it mm. to dip your chips into the yeah. warm cheese sauce, right? The worst thing is when you have this beautiful nacho cheese come game day and put it on the mm -hmm. table and then it kind of congeals and, and cools down. So leave it just to keep stuff warm, right? But another thing I mentioned is not just for rice. Cooking rice is the same principle as cooking quinoa or oatmeal or brown rice. It's about ratio and making sure that it's all done correctly. So quinoa with some oh. leftover veggies that I have from my master dicer, yes, yes, yes. You can kind of cook your quinoa and 
different grains that you're having a hard time with. Is there a recipe to what the ratio? are? There's all recipes, oh, yes. okay. Because I have to be honest, I'm not sure what the ratio is with quinoa. And, and that's a great question. In the recipe book, we provide all the different ratios. For example, there's a bit of a different ratio with brown rice than white rice. Oh. But it's no problem. Once you have that recipe book that okay. we give you, you just have those inside lines that I showed you to measure up how much water for how much rice, put it on, turn it on, and walk away. And there's no more guesswork. There's no more, do I have to let it steam? Do I have to let it sit mm -hmm. for a bit? None of it. Once it's done cooking and all the liquid has evaporated away, it goes from cook to warm and stays warm. All right, we've warm, just got two more minutes. Awesome. I want to see what else you're making in this. Check this out. You could even do a meatball. Just oh. bring up your meatballs up to temperature and some tomato sauce. And again, leave it warm. So this comes down to timing your recipes again. Sometimes we have one aspect of the dish perfectly warm and everything else gets cold. Right. This isn't just for rice or quinoa or oatmeal, although it's great for